they hid the onion skidding inside of Procreate Dreams. And I wasn't a super fan of it, but once you know where it is, it's like a hidden gem. So when I started my projects, I was at loss because in Procreate, you're able to do the onion skins. And for whatever reason, I could not find this on here. So you're gonna do what you do normally in this sense and go into creating your track. And in that track, you're gonna open up and zoom in as far as you possibly can, because you want that first frame for the sake of today's exercise. We're gonna draw a black circle, right? And then it automatically populates all these other frames down here, right? So it's all the same frame and you go, well, I'm gonna go draw on this one. Well, it actually just populated back over here. We're just gonna hit that little add button. That's gonna create a whole new section. And then you're gonna draw the circle, but you go, hold up, wait a second, but I don't want that spacing. I can't tell what it is beforehand. They hid the onion skidding inside of Procreate Dreams. And I wasn't a super fan of it, but once you know where it is, it's like a hidden gem, not intuitive. You're gonna go ahead and hit the timestamp. The timestamp is gonna show you your onion skin. Go ahead and hit onion, right? And you can edit those onion skins to be different colors just by hitting that, how many frames you want to see, what the opacity is to see it. And then again, with the front one, you can do orange, change the color so you know what the difference is between the previous and the one ahead. I should not have chosen that color because they're so close together. Let's do purple for backwards, right? Right? So they, they hid that. That's onion skinning in a nutshell, as well as being able to do frame by frame. Now, some of you probably have seen like Aaron Blaze's videos where he's working with these three frames at the bottom you can slide back and forth from. That's really easy to get to. Just slide this down and you can go frame by frame. In this instance, you don't see that plus button, but you can just tap that one more time, hit that plus button, and you draw your next frame. Now you won't be able to play it from here, but you will be able to slide back and forth. And then when you're done, you can either slide this down and get back to here or you can just hit that X and it's gonna bring you to the same spot and you have frame by frame. If you like this kind of content, as always, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below and we'll see to get you more as well as any future projects that I have. Thanks for watching.